morning everyone. It is 5.30 in the morning and I'm in my pajamas. I am going to get ready to go down to my studio and do another day in the life fit vlog. Sounds good to you? Get a cup of coffee and let's do this. It's always hard to get going when it's this early, but it's worth it. This is a home day for my son. That's why I'm whispering. My son is like 15. <laughs> It's not a little baby, um, but I'm still whispering because I don't want to wake him up because it's very early, but um, it is cold. So I'm just wearing my <clears throat> Nike jacket and I have a purse with me because I have some stuff inside of here that I need to take down, which I'm literally walking like 10 feet down to my studio. Um, but I think I'm going to do an upper body workout and um, film a little bit of that for you guys. So and I want to make my bed because I always start my day making my bed, but sometimes this happens right and then mommy cannot make her bed no mommy cannot make her bed okay if you've been here for a little bit you know the drill it is cold in the studio so i still have my nike jacket on this is like a fleece jacket it's cute it's animal print and it keeps me warm and i'm gonna go ahead and use my vallejo wrap to keep my lower back warm so i can get a sweat and we're gonna jump or i'm gonna jump on my trampoline for like, I'm gonna try to do like 10, 15 minutes to warm up today. I don't have a ton of time this morning. Um, it is a <clears throat> home day for my son. So we're gonna have homework to do. So I need to get this workout in and I need to get on with my day. So we're gonna start, this looks crazy. I'm gonna start with my warm up on my trampoline, which I'm gonna pull out and then we're gonna just do an upper body blast. So let's do this. Guys, I forgot to hit play. So this is from yesterday, but I jumped. <laughs> and then I just came center, did some elevate work with my ankle weights and I did some curls. Now, I want you to keep in mind here that the ankle weights are just my preference. I like to do them, especially if I don't have a lot of time in the morning. But what I did here was I pulled in and then reached out, continuing with the Eleve. You can do 16 of these guys, you can do 16 curls, whatever works for you and your schedule. I like to do high repetition, especially because I'm just using two pound weights today. So now I'm just doing a little half swan here and I'm incorporating some leg work with the ankle weights. You can do 16 on the right and 16 on the left, or you can do eight on the right and eight on the left whatever works for you and now I'm just doing some up pulses here um, with a back extension of my leg and just working those triceps and then last thing I'm going to do here is just some uh, shoulder presses I just kept my feet in first position but if you wanted to add that elevate again and work the lower body a little bit totally up to you and then now I'm just taking it in and squeezing the chest and then pressing back up being mindful to keep my shoulders down and drawn away from my ears and my core engaged and then I just added some micro pulses I did eight on the right eight on the left and then I went ahead and took it all the way up pulling it back down at my sides and reaching I added a little lift and twist here just to get some core work in and then I'm going to do a little bit of shoulder work so I took an opposite arm to the opposite leg using a little ballet port de bras finding my center and then lifting it back up above the head here you can go lower in that lunge if you'd like and then i just kind of finished everything off with some plank work here since i had my ankle weights on i just took it center in for two and out for two and then playing today we had miss tina turner it was a great workout workout is complete for today i only had 30 minutes so i had to jump like a crazy person i had to get some upper body work in like a crazy person i did some plank work this is my encouragement to you. It doesn't matter if you have five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can make something happen. Take a walk outside, run in place, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, do something because every little bit adds up. And if you are on a fitness journey right now, I understand how incredibly hard it can be, especially we're coming into the holiday season, right? We're coming into the time where we want to enjoy ourselves, we want to indulge, we want to have a good time. So just do a little something every single day. Stay consistent with your workouts through the holiday season. Here for you guys, I share daily content on both platforms, on Instagram and also on YouTube. I'm newer on Thread, so I'm kind of getting into the groove of that. I'm not really sure how to use that out very well, but I'm starting out on Threads. I do have a monthly newsletter I talk to you guys about. If you want to join, there's a ton of content included in that. It is a once a month newsletter. I don't spam you. It has recipes, inspiration, form tips, lots of stuff. Okay, so getting on with my day, I'm gonna have my Bear Bell. Obsessed with these, you guys. 200 calories, 18 carbs, one gram of sugar. I ran out of the cookies and cream, so today I'm gonna have the caramel cashew. Still really good. 
got my black coffee. If I still have my ankle weights on, I'm gonna leave them on for a little bit longer, walk just quickly around my property, back up to my house, and get on with my day. All right, darlings, you guys know the drill. We are walking back up the hill. Let me show you the shoes. This is ridiculous. I have my van slides like halfway on and I've got my ankle weights. So we are going back up the hill to go eat some breakfast or a snack or something. I think I might have some yogurt and then take a shower and get going for the day. Okay, so I'm gonna have my Greek yogurt and this one is the apricot mango. Um, I usually like to get the pumpkin one or the apples and cinnamon, but Trader Joe's was completely out. So I'm gonna try this one, I've never had it. And then I'm gonna take my goalie super fruit scummies and I'm gonna take one of my berberines. All right, it's a little bit later in the day. I'm at the skate park with my son. He is going to skate for a little bit and then I think I'm gonna go to Aldi. So we are finishing up our pantry and I've been sharing like little bits in my um, my shorts and my reels um, on Instagram and YouTube. It's almost done. I think it's gonna be done tomorrow. My husband's painting it today and I wanna do a whole like shop with me, um, fill the pantry, like little reveal type of thing. It's nothing super spectacular, but we didn't have one before and I think it's really cool and I'm excited to just stock it up with lots of snacks and food and canned goods and just a lot of essentials. So I think we're gonna go to Aldi, see what they have. Um, I'll take you guys with me and then we'll go home and I'll show you guys my little Aldi haul and a little pantry update, so stick around. Well, I did not end up going to Aldi. I ended up going to Grocery Outlet just to get some items to put in the pantry. We are finally complete, almost complete. We still need to put the flooring in, but that's gonna be a pretty easy situation. We're just gonna use the same wood flooring we have in our house, and we have a lot of those uh, pallets still left over from when we bought the house. So, so yeah, I'm in here now and I'm super excited, but I didn't, like I said, get to Aldi as planned. I just stopped and got uh, a few things, mostly not healthy items, <laughs> just to start stocking everything up in here. So right now what we're doing, well, we still need to put, um, if you guys can see over there, the little outlet covers on, but right now what we're doing is just starting to kind of organize everything. We have all of our little mugs over here. I've got a lot of my glasses and pretty plates up here. We've got our avocados and our little bread station. And then this is gonna be probably our little spice area. I think I'm gonna order some spice racks or something from Amazon and I also have some little things that you hook into the wall to display your pans. So I think those will probably go over here somewhere, but we're making a lot of progress. I have so many cake plates that I've been collecting. So I kind of just put them up there for now, but I'm getting really excited for the holidays because I'm finally going to get to use some of my really pretty place settings and my glasses and my cake plates. So all in all, it's coming together really, really nice. I collect a lot of things. Um, a lot of sparkly things. This was something I just found today, so I need to put it out because it is that time of year. <clears throat> it's spooky season, it's a little table runner. So pretty, and then I found like all of my napkins and I found a ton of just like really pretty coasters. I've got different place settings for the holidays. So I have, let's move these out of the way more coasters. I obviously have a coaster issue here, but I have some silver sparkly place settings. And then under here, I have some gold ones. And then in the cabinet today, as I was cleaning everything out, I found my napkin rings and these are gorgeous. I had forgotten that I had these for so long, but they're little, um, like gem sparkly leopards. So much fun. So many cute things in here. I've got all my decor for Christmas kind of on deck and ready to go mixed in with some, <laughs> some tigers and some snowmen up there, but it's all coming together and I'm super excited to get organized for the new year. And you know, we really just are all over the place with this vlog today, but I just had to include this because I do resell. If you've been here for a little bit, you know that I really just make reselling part of my daily routine. So I love to go and thrift new items. And when I saw this at Goodwill, I knew it was probably something pretty cool and it didn't have a price tag. So when I took it up, they said it was only $7. And so I thought, you know, I got to get this. Um, but really and truly, 
I did a lot of research on this and it is to my knowledge a 1950s U.S. Navy uniform jacket and the cool thing about this is the tag here so this clothing company well first of all it's 100% wool it says coat man's wool tropical blue and then it's a 39 extra small but it's made by c and c clothing company inc and i could not find a single thing on this company so that really does tell me it's an old old company and what I did was I just snapped a picture in my Google images and I found two very similar, almost exact styles, um, 1940s, 1950s, but it's vintage and I really think this is gonna be a good sell. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope that you are enjoying these fitness vlogs. I'm really enjoying putting them together for you guys. If you do like this type of content, leave me a comment below and I'll make sure to know that you want more of this style of video. So I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much and have a great day.